call out. Okay. Okay. Well, here we are. Um, welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is a side trip. It's a cool little, one of the best parts about my job is all the interesting people I meet and to be able to travel around and, and, and do boat tours. And this one is uh, super cool. So I'm with Ed and Eileen here, and this is Electric Philosophy. And it's something that they have created and uh, built with my friend uh, Sam Devlin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, so they did some of the work. And so we're just going to talk about the story of this a little bit. And this was probably on Sam's drawing board when I got his first Gardner diesel that I brought up to Marine Tech, you know, that many years ago when I was playing with the with that old engine of his. But uh, you guys have done a talk to my electrical class, my technicians for the new electricians, because this is an electric boat. And so you're kind of going to share the story. So this summer, we crossed paths. We saw each other at Shearwater and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so um, that was a that was a nice trip. And so but let's back up and talk a little bit about the boat. Okay. So okay. Um, I've got some footage, and um, it's 40 feet. 40 feet on the water, and then 42 with swim step, and... The bow hang. We pay for 42. 42. And <laughs> catamaran, purely electric. Yes. No diesel engine or anything. Yes, it is. And, uh, all electric. And part of the boat's name is the Electric Philosophies. What I like is kind of your cruising style and how, how you do. So this summer we uh, both ended up in Southeast Alaska from Washington mm -hmm. State. And how many times did you plug in? None. None. We haven't <laughs> plugged in in two and a half years of traveling. All electric. It's amazing. And yeah, all solar electric. All yeah. solar, yes. So yeah. that's that's the key difference uh, on this boat compared to most other electric boats. Yeah. So that's we run only on the sun, good. not on plug-in. We don't have a generator, for example. Right. So it's just fabulous. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. great. It, it's actually worked really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, much better than I ever thought. Expected Ever expect. Yeah. So yeah. Ed knew it would. Oh, Ed oh. designed it, so he had absolute faith. But he had to convince me. Oh, I don't so. know about absolute. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's custom. Well, we're still on the edge of you know of these electric boats, and so but um, it's a thing, and so it's a very livable boat too. You're not camping. Right. It's all one level living, all mm -hmm. electric galley. Um, it's got a head and a shower, and then the aft cabin. Yeah. Correct. Covered side decks, but safe. You can walk all around the boat, easy to dock. Mm -hmm. Covered yeah. cockpit, which is very nice. Yeah, yeah. especially in the Northwest. Yeah. Exactly. And exactly. Heated. It, it's very comfortable. It's. I tell people it's just like our Airstream trailer. We traveled in an Airstream all over the country in Canada for years. And it's pretty much like that, only four feet wider and even more comfortable. <laughs> even more, yeah. So, yeah. And four and feet wider big, inside. You don't have a big pickup truck sucking gas or diesel to pull it around either. Exactly, right. right. That's right. And it's quiet. Yeah. It's quiet. That's yeah. one of, I'm a huge fan of quiet underway. And yeah. that's and one of the biggest smooth. advantages. Yeah. yeah, I mean. That and no maintenance. Yeah, yeah. very No low, oil changes. Very no heat exchanger, salt water, nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. colors and strainers, nope. No through hauls below the water line. So it's nice. I mean, it's, it's uh, amazing. And so at two and a half years, this is your third season. And so all three seasons, not plugged in. Right. You yep. go from April or whatever. Well, March, we, April. March yeah. April through October mm -hmm. every year and boom. Yep. Yeah. Well, the I mean, in 2021, we launched it in July and it took us, you know, we had some new boat. Oh. Issues like any new yeah. boat to, to work through. And then last year was really our uh, full year tryout uh, shakedown, you might say. Yeah. And then this year, yeah, we got on in mm. April. And We're still on. Kept, still on. Yeah, we haven't, we <laughs> left, we left our boathouse in Olympia in April and we haven't been back there yet. Wow. And this is, and you the went all the way up September. to Wrangell, right? Somebody yeah, yeah, yeah we went up to Wrangell. We, ah. we spent three weeks in uh, Desolation Sound, three weeks in the Broughtons, I think three, three weeks in North BC, and about three weeks in. Alaska before we turned around and started working our right, way back. So. Yeah, about three weeks. So yeah, we, we as you <laughs> we as you were it. coming up. Yeah, you were. Uh, I think we got to catch can a day ahead of you, and then 
we just kind of leapfrogged oh. different places while you were up in yeah. in Alaska, and then yeah, we met you in Shearwater. Shearwater on the way back. south, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts of how the thing went together. So it has electric drives in both. Correct. So then this is real coming. So this is. So different. these are the motor controllers. Yeah. So normally they put them all together. So Forty-eight volt DC. Uh, no, they're AC. They're AC, okay. Yeah, three, phase. Volt, three phase AC, okay. Um, the, the, apparently, these motors can be run off DC, the same motor. I didn't, I did, I was got Scott uh, McMillan, who owns the electric yacht. We've become pretty good friends with Scott, and I call him all the time. Not, not all the, all the time, but I mean, I just yeah. ask him some different things, and it's kind of funny. But anyway, yeah, because at the boat show I was looking, I'm pretty sure they had with one of these run on. That's why I thought it was DC. They had a, but yeah, that, I think the same. But, but yeah, this is three. Is there any way to bypass the? No, these the controllers? absolutely no. These have to have a controller. Okay. And then with uh, virtually all of these, because what they do is they take actually, if you were running this off of AC, let's say that you you, the source of power was AC, you would have to convert it to DC first anyway. So. Because these are all run off of modified DC. So they take a DC and then they make their own wave. Okay. And they change the frequency and the waveform to control speed. So you can overdrive these. You can run these at, I don't know what, 120 hertz, maybe 150 hertz. And that's how they get the additional speed because they can okay. run them. But, but you have to start with a DC signal. But you have, so you have four motors, four controllers on two shafts. So if you do lose one, you're still. Oh yeah, and it's funny. Totally fine. It, and you don't even hardly. He take, he does these in his class. So they're the oil filled seals right yeah. there. Yeah, the, yeah, the Norscots. The Norscots with the yeah. reservoir up there. Right. Both yeah. sides. 20 kW per side, 20, which consists of two 10 kW motors. It's the electric yacht uh, drive package. Drive package, yeah. which mm -hmm. very happy with. I mean, 6,500. And so you got a lot of redundancy because you have two speed controllers and two motors in each pontoon. So you really have four drive systems. Exactly. That's exactly correct. Yeah. yeah. And we and it can run off. Uh, it we, can run on one motor on either side. Right. With yeah. one, it might be a little bit of puttering around to do that, yeah. but 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 it's still there. Yeah. And yeah. then and then battery banks. So you built your own. Right. Out of the bare prismatic cells. So the lithium the, iron phosphate. Lithium yeah. iron phosphate, very specifically lithium iron phosphate. Yeah. Um, Keeping it safe. Exactly. <laughs> and the, the two drive banks are a little over 41 kW each. So two 41s about, okay. Yeah, and then the drive 42, and then the drive um, house banks are all over 21 kW each. So not quite a, a 250 kW total, but all of the drive banks are completely separate. The solar is and separate. the house banks are separate too. And so, so you have four, four. banks, once again, redundancy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the solar, solar, how many kilowatts on the roof? 9,500 watts, 9.5 9 kilowatts. Nice. Yeah, and uh, 25 panels, but those panels are completely dedicated to one bank or, or the other. So, so 10 so, go to each propulsion bank. Three go to one house bank, two go to the other, other house bank. So, and they come down separately. Yeah. So and once they, again, redundancy. redundancy. All yeah. these systems. And, and they have their own inverter chargers, solar chargers. So everything runs independently. independently. And I mean, in fact, we can, through the inverters, cross charge bank to bank if we, if we need, need to. Need to. Yeah. Okay. And, and we often use the drive banks when they're full to run electric coffee Galaxy. pots or yeah we actually run if, if you stay at a place for two or three days you end up if it's sunny you have extra electricity all yeah day. once <laughs> after the first day we usually have extra electricity yeah that's, like we run an amazing. electric heater off of the propulsion bank if we're at a we're doing dock like we are now here for a couple yeah of days. this morning it's a rainy cool fall day and you had the electric heater on yeah yeah it's but, amazing but the banks are are pretty full up right so. and so if you had no sun, cloudy days, you still would have a tremendous range. If you're running a, like the boat, you go any, you cruise anywhere from two to six knots, maybe. Well, five yeah, to six knots. Five, five, five. But I mean, you can go slow if you want to. If you're just oh, looking yeah. at the scenery. Sometimes if it, if it yeah. is. And we've, we've gone slow trying to fish. And sometimes the current was <laughs> greater than what we. Well, yeah. We, <laughs> but, 
but yeah. But so five or six knots is easy, attainable cruising speed. and That's our typical speed. And you could go yeah. for a long ways. With 150 people. nautical miles at five knots wow. over the water yeah. um, without any charge. Without any charge. If wow. we started fully. <laughs> if we started fully. Start full, sure. Yeah, yeah. Which we normally <laughs> do, actually. I mean. Yeah. But for normal cruising in our area specifically, like we're usually 20 or 30 miles at most a day, right? Easy. So you're just, you just go from Anchorage to Anchorage or stop at a marina and then you got plenty of recharge time and. Oh, well, yeah. Well, perfectly. I, obviously, 6,500 miles and you haven't plugged in and the boat's. Yeah. No big major complaints with it, or we did all summer, and we had a uh, anchor light burned out. That was our <laughs> that was literally the, the yeah. only. Well, you did uh, tighten a belt. I tightened one belt on one of the yeah, motors. Yeah, you tightened one belt, but that yeah. That was it. Yeah, it's a little amazing. envious. I have to do my full cooling system service this year, and yeah. turns out um, I got to put in five hundred gallons of diesel fuel, and it's five twenty-five a gallon right now, so. Well, well exactly. we saw it in Canada. It was oh, Canada's eight, ten, eight and ten dollars a gallon. Yeah, what do you we saw from we the just, yeah, yeah in yeah. Ganges it was just about ten dollars a gallon. Yeah, yeah. nearly two dollars a liter. Yeah. yeah, it was like whoa. Oh. But, so no, it's, yeah, that that part's been very nice. We do have a diesel heater on board uh, that does our heat and a hydronic system. The hydronic system. So it's just a boiler, not a a true engine, but. Uh, it does our heat and our hot water, and we that, that, that takes a 30-gallon tank, and we filled it in April, and it's still got a quarter of a tank mm -hmm. now. Oh, so that's so, easy. Yeah. And we use it quite a bit, and we, especially as you know, when you get Oh, first more, thing in the morning, it's cool. It's yeah, we, nice. use, we used it a lot. In, in the morning. Because, right. we, yeah, we... When we started up to, we started to Alaska well before you, you guys did with the flotilla. Turns out I'm still employed at a job. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ridiculous. No, but, I, but I just mean we, we yeah. started out when it was a lot cooler. Yes. And uh, so, yeah, we ended up using our, our heater. Quite a bit. Quite a in bit. In the early yeah. season, yeah. yeah. In the early season. It's then. nice. And in the evening. Even in the summer times, I find that we'll light our heat in the morning for an hour and warm the boat up. And, mm -hmm. and get hot water just for a shower. Hot water for a yeah. 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 So. yeah. And we have an electric blanket that we'll turn on at night to warm the bed up. So. Oh, well, we have a down <laughs> comforter have a with down flannel, flannel sheets. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And then being a catamaran, lots of room down there for the battery banks and water tank and holding tank and stuff like that. Right. We have 300 gallons of fresh water, 100 gallons of black, and 100 gallons of gray. So, uh, toilet classes right now. So this comes from the head. Yep. So it's a direct dump. So there's no macerators, no pumps, no nothing. nothing. It's an RV toilet. Yep. It uses. My leg's gonna shoot me. But it uses what? Maybe a half a cup per flood. Maybe yeah. No. The real. Flood. Yeah. So that hundred gallon tank right under where you're kneeling yeah. is good for about six weeks. <laughs> and that's running this bathroom sink into it. Besides. Right. And then so the big vent comes up here. Yeah. So here's the thing you got to be careful of, and I'll tell your toilet guy. You cannot put one of these wimpy little vents in because when this water drops Oh, down, yeah, yeah. If you're doing this kind this of drop is, in this it. Is, this is going to be done like more like a house. Yep. And I, it's kind of at the last minute, I said... You're making a five-inch vent, vent isn't going to cut it. And mm -hmm. I said, no. I said, no, we've got to put in like an inch and a half vent. I said, really? And I said... Yeah, and I said, just... Because I said, we got to be really careful. We don't want odor in the bathroom. And it works. Perfectly. Nice. So a little, and so then you got all your tanks in the hall here. You got fresh water, 300, black 150 water. gallons on each side. Each side of fresh water. So um, we don't we dump don't in harbors or, very often. or and we don't have yeah. to pump out very often. Yeah. So it's very nice. Very nice. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, one one little benefit of having the gray tank, which is kind of unusual. Yet I mean, Sam was. I think one reason is just to keep everything symmetric, one in yeah. each hall. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, he says, you know, they're they're. Probably going to head that way. They are heading that the way. The discharge. Yeah, there's limits marinas and, and stuff, especially some of them are really starting yeah. to be like they want your gray water not to be. Yeah, but you know, if you're out on the hard, like we've been out to do the bottom and stuff, we can live on the boat because we don't have any discharge, no discharge outside out the, boat. the boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Super cool. Very cool. Well, I just think it's an awesome project. I really do thank you for. Um, sharing the story and letting people know like it is doable electric boats are you know and when i mean doable like it's not uncomfortable and you're not compromising no. you are just no. living and cruising and enjoying this whole area via the water 
but right. silently and you know and maintenance free I, yeah. I mean it's truly it's it's it, i think people just haven't caught on yet to the benefits and it, it, it's coming when they the people that have been in this boat with us are there's, just amazed there's a lot of interest in this boat there has been for the last few years and, and especially in our northwest here there's a lot of interest and so i'm excited we're going to see more and more of these right yeah. we know they're I, I think you yeah we we were just at the wooden boat festival as a display boat and so a lot of people came through and there were more we had done it last year too and even from last year to this year there are a lot more people that were beyond just oh this is an interesting boat to okay how do i do this how do and, i get one yeah. or work and people it. think right. we're we're here as a demo boat for a production line it's like no we aren't no, selling no, anything well, this is our custom boat we hired it yeah to, that's we didn't say we, with sam that this yeah. is a plywood stitch and glue so right. well, yeah. the audience may not know what, yeah. what sam devlin does in olympia so it's yeah. a stitch and glue plywood boat that's why it was in the wooden boat festival the last yeah. two years mm -hmm. showcasing um the both the boat and of course all the electric yeah right that's, so, that's yeah. why we do it just to give people an idea yeah so ed came up with the idea and did all of the design calculations and stuff and by the time then we went looking for a boat builder and so when we found sam and he he agreed that it it was a good project right. then and then we, you, you he, to... he had to design the boat he had to make this system look like look and act like a boat so and yes, he did an excellent job. Yeah, he did, did a really job, yeah. nice And then, of job. course, he was willing to work with you because you two did. You brought Worked in all right. the batteries and you yeah. did yeah. a lot of all the electrical connections and stuff like that. Yeah. It was a lot easier to, to put the system in before they, you know, oh, it was yeah, an put the top of the boat. Collaboration. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we couldn't have done it any other way. I with any think. other builder, yeah. I mean, think yeah. it would have been very difficult. Yeah. Sam yeah. was the perfect choice for that. Yeah. Yep. So. Perfect. Well, there we go. It's a thing. Electric boats. Yeah. And perfect inside passage machine right well, here. And yeah. I would think and you could do the great circle in a boat like oh, this. Would be another we're, one. We're talking about we, it. we talked to, uh, in fact, that was one of my first, is I'm from the East Coast, so I already knew about the Great Loop. And I was telling Sam of I said, I really want to take this out there. So we wanted to keep it narrower to make it easier to transport. To transport. And it got a little bit wider than we started with but it it gave us enough panels and oh. and the skylight which is really nice and uh as far as we know we can still transport it by truck with escorts and special sure permits. They, they can do so that. Yeah. so we're we're still it's still kind right. of out there but first we have to get tired of cruising up here and that's gonna take a while right? i know <laughs> there's it's gonna take a while we got at least Definitely one more trip in Alaska to get I've all been, the way uh, up. I've been started cruising here in 1991 or 92, and I still haven't got my fill. So right, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. nice. thirty I mean, years, we, you know. We we already enjoy going back to places that we've been in earlier seasons. Certainly, and I grew up in Michigan. My parents did. The, I did part of the Great Circle, different places. You know, Kentucky mm -hmm. Lake. And I did Mobile Bay and. Um, anyways, so and then my parents have done the whole thing. And so oh, good. It's a neat trip. So yeah, yeah. I that's really want to do the would be really the good border areas. Yeah. yeah, the northern canals and stuff. I'd yeah. I'd really like to do that. Yeah. But no, it's it's been it's been very good. I mean, I wasn't sure how the visibility when it was on the drawing board. We were really concerned about visibility, but it. It's been excellent. It's nice. It's bright. It's yeah. Like it's easy living. Windows it's, yeah. all around. You can see Super easily. Super nice design. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it, it's been very comfortable. Wow. Thank you for yeah. sharing. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah you're we'll welcome. put it out there and I'm going to do a bunch of other fun little boat tours this fall. And, you know, it's what we do at Marine Tech. We like to see stuff and encourage. We have students, electricians specifically, come to our program just because they want to do electric propulsion. And, um, one of them's actually working over here next week on a on a job. So well, I think you should. I, we were talking about this earlier, but you know, I think of an, an all electric flotilla to Alaska yeah. would be a really fun thing to to yes. set up and yeah. Do. And and Sam yeah. did the the solar sail, the twenty seven footer mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So he's done a couple of other, and that boat went to Alaska, but that's more of a camping boat. 
Right. As opposed to this is your it's living. A, I, I call it it. I call Solar Sal or Wayward Sun. I, Wayward Sun, yeah. An adventure boat. I, it, it, I think it has a great mission to, yeah. to go. And all explore. boats have, and this, have a purpose. And this has a different purpose. But, uh, I mean, they both do the same thing. Just how you want to yeah. live while you're doing it. Yeah. You can do the whole gamut. So. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well. Thank you, thank you. We'll get this video out and show our students so they come and then hopefully in the spring, you guys, you've been to our facility. Yep. You've talked to the electrical class in the spring yeah, after they, fun. we got 32 new electricians coming in. So by spring, they'll know what controllers and inverters and everything is. And so then you can talk to them again about the project. So. No, it is kind of fun. And it, <laughs> yeah. they came aboard afterwards and it was, it was yeah. a good time. Good yeah, time. we so always enjoy an accordance. That was a it'll nice It'll be our visit. little spring spring thing as long as you're in still in the area cruising so yeah. all right well i think i'm gonna have to go catch the ferry back to anacortis now so. okay before it starts raining we'd, anyway. we'd give you a ride but you know yeah well the weather's kind of it's gonna here. get blustery here's the night there's a high wind warning for today for yeah. tomorrow it's gonna cook, cook up yep. so yeah you know, i think is. we're just gonna hunker down a bit just wait another day leave your electric heater running on the solar panels yeah <laughs> <laughs> so. i love it all right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. All right. Thank, Thank you, Mike. You, Mike. Mm -hmm.